Sorry if that was so corny. <laughs> Do I look like Beth? Beth wears glasses. My mother is blind. It is time for another book review, guys. I just finished Attachments by Rainbow Rowell, and I think this is one of my favorite books I've ever read. I'm just reading so many good books right now. If you guys didn't know, I am joining Book Explosion this month to read Attachments by Rainbow Rowell with Errol Bosset, Paul Manaz Books, Jesse the Reader, and Catty Tastic. They have so graciously invited me into their group, and right now I'm the only one who has read Attachments, so I'm ahead of the game. <laughs> Attachments is my second book that I read from Rainbow Rowell. I read Fangirl over the summer. I liked it. I didn't necessarily attach with any of the characters. Pun not necessarily intended. But Attachments was Rainbow's first published book. I honestly fell in love with these characters. I fell in love with actually the whole story. It's so awkwardly cute. I gave it five stars on Goodreads. I mean, it was basically like a 98%. I don't even know what's wrong with it to give it a 98. It's an adult contemporary. We follow three different characters. There's Lincoln, who is the IT security internet officer. So he's the one who checks everybody's email, who makes sure things are running smoothly at the Courier, which is the newspaper where they all work at. The other two characters are Beth and Jennifer. What we see from Beth and Jennifer, most of this book, is just their emailing back and forth. Beth is a movie review writer and Jennifer is a copy editor. But during the day, they have plenty of personal emails going back and forth. And those happen to land themselves into Lincoln's flagged email folder. So Lincoln was hired at the Courier because the people who own the newspaper are kind of afraid of the internet. They're like the last people to ever get internet and computers officially at this newspaper in Nebraska. Attachments is set in 1999, like right before the millennium hit. How old were you guys in 1999? I was five. People in this book, right before it hit, were going crazy and thought the world was going to end and were waiting for all the power and electricity to go out. I don't remember that when I was five. My parents weren't worried about anything going out, so I didn't connect with that. The 1999-2000 millennium Y2K thing. Even though Lincoln might not be doing anything, he is making those owners and the head honchos feel so much better because no one is doing naughty things on the internet like looking at porn or doing any type of fun things. I mean, not that, um, you know what I mean, right? <laughs> so while Lincoln sits at his desk and has nothing else to do, he reads through these two women's emails and he starts getting involved in their lives. It's what he looks forward to every single day when he comes into work, is to read their quirky conversations back and forth. And even as a reader, you're like, oh, what's gonna happen next? What else is happening in their lives? And they're so funny and cute. You start feeling for these women even though you haven't even seen them, even though you don't even know what they look like. And that's what Lincoln starts doing. He starts becoming attached to them. This book is just so cute, it's so quirky, you just fall in love with these characters and by the end of the book it just felt so ooey gooey. Like, do you know like when you get out of the gym and your limbs are all loose, your muscles are just like so satisfied from the workout? That's what this book feels like. It feels like you've worked out this entire time at the very end it's just so satisfying. So if you guys are looking for a contemporary, especially this summer, if you're reading on the beach or by the pool or by the river or wherever you guys like to read, pick it up because it's so much fun. And if you guys want to join Book Explosions Read Along, our live show is on May 24th. It's kind of sooner than their other live shows, but that's kind of like your read by date. So make sure to read it by then so you guys can join in on the live show and talk about it and just it's all going to be so much fun. If you guys tweet or Instagram about attachment, please tweet with the hashtag attach clip and all the information will be down below in the downstairs box. I honestly I just wanted to like glue this book to my body and just to have it like ingrained into my system so that it always feel like this all the time and I'm so excited for Ray Morale's next book which is Landline which is another adult contemporary. Just so cute, just so cute. And a little tidbit if you guys were wondering, I do fan cast mostly all book characters in my books. I never do not have an actor for a role in the book just because it's so much easier for me to see actors in my head than make them up because my imagination isn't so great. But I know the actors and I know their personalities. Lincoln in my head is Colin O'Donohue from Once Upon a Time. He plays Captain Hook and 
he's just kind of dreamy and Lincoln in my head looks like him. Beth is Jennifer Lawrence, like silver lining Jennifer Lawrence. That is her in my head. Jennifer, I pictured her as a blonde Emma Stone, maybe? Yes, no, I'm not, just not really sure about that. For those who have not read it, go buy it, go download it, go read it. Read it by May 24th. So good, I get to want to talk about parts with everyone who has read it. And come back and watch the rest of my review. And then watch everyone else's review, okay? Okay, bye guys who have not read it. Bye, and stay if you have. So for people who have read Attachments, how, 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 how much, how much do you love this? I L O V E it. That's how much I love this book. I'm gonna put it down because I just keep flipping it. I don't wanna mess it up. When I first started reading it, I thought it was gonna be all emails. Mm, I don't know if I'm gonna like this because I don't really like that type of writing when it's just all letters, which is why I don't wanna read Love Rosie, but I'll, I'll read it, I'll read it, I'll read it. I literally finished this book like a couple hours ago and I, I could not, I could not stifle the joy I was feeling after reading that ending, which I think I'll get to later on, just in case people are still watching. It's a contemporary, so I don't know if I'm gonna have that much to talk about, but I just kinda wanna talk about my favorite parts. I really connected with Beth in this story. Um, I'm not a 28-year-old who has a boyfriend, but I connected with her insecurities about herself and her friendship and sometimes her humor. She's really tall and I'm tall and I loved what she said about how like tall guys always go for the short girls. Why are tall guys always attracted to short women? Not just moderately short women either. Tiny women, Polly Pockets. The tallest guy always, always, always goes for the shortest girl, always. It's like they're so infatuated with their own height that they want to be with someone who makes them feel even taller. Someone they can tower over, a little doll that will make them feel even bigger and stronger. Whenever I see a really tall guy with a really short girl, I always want to take him aside and say, you realize your sons will never play basketball, right? I so agree with her here. Come on, tall guys. If you guys are the brawny paper towel men that are described in books, then you should be with moderately tall girls. Your size. I just think it's so funny that now there's like two characters. I don't know if you guys have read The Fifth Wave, but Evan in The Fifth Wave is described as the brawny paper towel guy. And I was at the grocery store yesterday and I saw a brawny towel paper guy like right there in like the sales section. I'm like, oh, it's, it's, it's Evan and it's Lincoln. I'm seriously gonna start telling off how many times author used the brawny paper towel guy as their description of the character. Cause when I first started reading this book, I thought Lincoln was like this like scrawny little kid. Like in my head, he was Andrew Garfield. Until like they actually started like describing him as like the big guy. Um, that's when I got it because he's just so like quiet and shy that I, I didn't realize that he was just like a big guy until when she goes into the break room and we realized that my very cute guy is Lincoln. I remember that part, I just like, yeah, Lincoln, it's you. After the incident, he got like a pep in his step. He was feeling great. He was smiling. He was telling Christine, who every time that name Christine came up, I was thinking of, you know, Christine Riccio, my friend. Honestly, this book is very much like a romantic comedy. It, I think it would make a great romantic comedy. I would love to see it. It might be a little bit too much like You've Got Mail or Sleepless in Seattle, which are both mentioned in this book, which I thought was cute. I think 2015 is ready for a rom-com just like this one set back in 1999. I think that would just be so good. Speaking of 1999, when I, when I told my mom that this book was set in 1999, she's like, oh no, is it about, is it about like what happened in 2001? I'm like, no, it's not about 9-11 at all. And I'm so glad it wasn't because it was just happy and it was just good. It has that generic, you know, rom-com thing. They have the meat cute in the theater. Ah, oh, I just read that part today. I knew it was gonna happen. It was the end of the book. It started getting to the end of the book and he was walking to the theater. I'm like, okay, she's gonna be there. It's, it's gonna happen. Didn't expect a full on makeout session in the theater. But how about like the time when she like first walked into the break room and you're like, oh, that, that's her. That has to be her. I felt like that was when Silver Lane's Playbook, when uh, Bradley Cooper first meets Jennifer Lawrence, the sister's like, come on, let's take a tour of the house. She's all like walking. That's exactly how I felt 
when Beth walked into the break room with Doris and Lincoln eating. What about the mom? There's still some mystery about her. Like, what happened to his dad? I mean, it wasn't obviously Eve's dad, and she was just so clingy, and I hate clingy moms because I have one. I thought it was so funny when the when, when Eve's two boys and they were over and, and they were talking about Jesus. Lincoln is not rotting. He isn't living. Don't tell me how to raise my son. He's 28 years old. Your job is done. He is risen. Like Jesus! <gasps> I laughed so hard. And at the very end, he ran after her finally. When they were kissing and he's like, it feels like a dream. I'm like, this is a dream. I'm like reading and I'm like, I can't believe it's happening, Lincoln. I'm so proud of you. And then he runs after her back to the newspaper room. He takes her to the break room and they talk about it and he gets her on his lap and he kisses her in the middle of a sentence, which is so cute. And I love the last chapter. I was so glad we got that little piece afterward because I hate it when just authors just like leave it and just like don't talk about what happens after you just assume that they're together. I'm glad that mother approves of Beth and that Jennifer is pregnant because it was so sad when she lost her baby. I knew that's what happened when the emails weren't piling up. Now I just want to know what they named the baby. I just want to know. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be getting a sequel anytime soon. That's basically all I want to talk about with you guys. Please let me know what you thought about the book and your favorite lines because Jennifer and Beth had some awesome one-liners in there. And if you guys have any other fan casting choices, let me know. People have been tweeting me on Twitter. One person said that Lincoln was Chris Evans in their mind, which I thought, I, I, I love that. Please join us at the live show. Thumbs up. Links down below, you all know the drill, and I will see you on the future Fangirl on! Bye! Do your book arrived face. Invited me into their group. Stop! Don't do that! What? Going with that. In this month to read attachments with the the